I have with me some purple kosher kush, blessed by a rabbi, got it straight from Tel Aviv. Let's smoke it, shall we? I'll ignite the wick with my bick at the end of my joint stick. Oh yeah, tastes a little earthy, tastes a little herbal. Oh. <coughs> so, you're living in this world and you're wondering, who's in control? Well, I'll tell you. Lucifer, the fallen angel, has deceived the nations. All the way from the builders, the ones who put the concrete down for the sidewalks and the tar for the roads. The ones who constructed the buildings with brick and mortar all the way to that and chiseled it out of all the other stuff. And carpentry work with wood. The builders, like the Freemasons, have been deceived by Lucifer. Lucifer takes God's knowledge and teaches it to mankind and then says, oh, worship me instead, because I'm the one that gave you all the knowledge. I'm the one that set you free. You can do this and you can do that all because of me. Huh? Don't buy the hype. It's garbage. It's knowledge versus love. You could take God's knowledge that Lucifer teaches you, like sacred geometry, so you're good at spinning a compass and using a ruler, huh? Yeah, well, on that Egyptian stuff, huh? And yeah, dude, my third eye and all the brain abilities like telepathy, quantum thinking, and all the other crap. Remote viewing, astral projection, visuals and dreams. I know those who say they are Jews, but they're not. But they're the synagogue of Satan and they control the banks. They pollute the minds of the youth with the media, especially celebrities, huh? these star fuckers. And they sure do lie about everything, like the shape of the earth, like the moon landing, and everything. Who writes history? Huh? The victors write history. And the victors aren't Christian. The United States was founded by Freemasons and they're Luciferian. Apparently Freemasonry is Jewish from top to bottom. Well, guess what? I think it's Jewish in the Revelation 2-9 sense that I know those that say they're Jews, but they're not. But they're the synagogue of Satan. All right. So, we got the Freemasons. We got the Skull and Bones. We got Bohemian Grove. We got all the other fuckers. You know, hmm. Satan is the nature of sin that is within us all, that when Jesus rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me. Well, it wasn't that Peter was Satan, it's just that Satan manifested out of the sinner. So when you sin, and Christians can do this too, if you mess up, huh? if you mess up, when you sin, even the littlest swear word, that's in the nature of Satan because in heaven, we don't swear. In heaven, I don't I'm probably not gonna be smoking weed or drinking beer. But here, in this shitty life, on this corrupt world, I have to cope. My day-to-day -day damn life and existence. You know, I not do this, huh? I'll do this. Anyway. So, oh, you hear that squirrel? Nah, I freaking love squirrels. He's chirping. Nah. Squirrels and cats. You know, I'm smoking this. I'm not really coughing as much. Oh, I'm not really coughing. 
No. No. So hold on. So this phenomena about gang stalking, huh? People think they're being gang stalked. Now some people say, oh, you're smoking pot and you're getting paranoid and you're developing um, traces of schizophrenia and all this other shit. All right. We have an evil eye inside us, all right? Every single person has an evil eye. And this evil eye is connected to the nature of sin which courses through our bodies. We have the tempter, the conceptor, the liar. He contemplates things and he moves like a fly, huh? Because Beelzebub is Satan, who's Lucifer, who's Azazel, who's Baphomet, who's all these other names because he wants to be like God, so he'll have many names, just like Jehovah has many names. Elohim, Jehovah, um, Adonai, El Shaddai, Devar Hashem. All of these. Man. So when you feel like you're being gang stalked, know that the person may not 100% know who you are, but Satan inside them knows. That evil eye inside the person may say a thing that's similar. And you go, huh? And it catches your ear. Oh, that's something that relates to me. It sounds like they're talking directly at me or what in Edmonton you see vehicles that have one headlight burnt out and one headlight on and I talked to a person about this and they said oh yeah the switch is right here we turn our headlight on and off like this is that some kind of a cult thing like how they uh worship satan with 666 dude oh the left eye 666 huh or they go like this huh yeah dude the all-seeing eye or they go like this huh? all-seeing eye you know, and what else do they do? Huh? The square and compass in general, or maybe they hold their hands like this. Come on. Have pity on a widow's son. Right, officer? He'll sure drive me home and say, all right, have a good night, brother. Well, that ends that joint. And you know what? It wasn't good enough, and I know I have this black lighter, huh? But hey, I bought some Galano, all right? I bought some freaking Galano. Let's smoke that. Maybe the kosher kush wasn't good enough. Orange lighter, orange pack of Galano. Let's freaking do this. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm smoking some Galano. Yeah. Oh, baby. Smoking some gelato. High quality gelato. Oh shit. Go. Oh yeah. This little citrus. This little lemony. Oh. <laughs> Woo! That's some good stuff. So I'm out here in a cemetery. I'm in a cemetery. Check this out. I like to take my walks in the cemetery. Huh? I feel like I'm close to the dead. My mother worked for Chapel of Chimes Funeral Home. They closed down. My grandma worked for Evergreen Funeral Home. And I would love to either work at a funeral home or a cemetery. Huh? I could be the midnight shift graveyard great gatekeeper, huh? Oh, yeah. Take a big hit. Gotta hold it in. Let it hit the brain. Gotta hold it in. Let it hit the brain. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. So let's see. Uh, hmm. What should I talk about on this adventure? And look at this, huh? People like this, huh? This necklace that I got. I tell ya, I got it from eBay. Sent from China, cheap. 
it was under ten dollars all right people want 50 60 bucks for this i'm like no i'm not trading it i'm not gonna get some moolah but it took about a month to get here the shipping was slow i waited for this thing all right it's mine it belongs to me So, in this cemetery, there's a lot of statues of Mary, huh? Statues of Mary. Oh, boy. So, the statue, is it breathing? No. Is it thinking? No. Does it have a heart that beats? No. And it goes against one of the Ten Commandments. To not make a graven image of anything on heaven or on earth. Mother Mary was another sinner like us. All right. And even though blessed amongst women, she's not to be worshipped. And they say, oh, you know, we don't worship Mother. Yes, you do worship Mother Mary. And the rosaries and all that, and they pray to her. They're not supposed to do that. Did my galato go out? Did my galato go out? Oh, hold on. We're still cherried. Hold on. The filter's a little thick on these, eh? They're in the cigarette shape. They're not in the, like, thicker joint shape like the one that I pre-rolled that I took out of the tube. Mm -hmm. But the glotto makes me feel okay. You know, it makes me feel all right. So as a Christian, huh? Should I be smoking weed while well, you're witnessing me high right now? Does that seem like a problem, huh? <laughs> Am I tripping balls and not making sense? No. Yeah. The stuff's easy going. I'm used to it. My tolerance level's high. <sighs> oh, I see a squirrel over there. Uh, look at him. Hold on. Do you see him? Hey, little squirrelly. Ah, he's cleaning himself. Oh, now he's climbing in the tree. Oh, now he's running. Oh, now he's on that tree. <laughs> oh, he's over there now. <laughs> Man, I tell ya. You know, when you realize God is the author of cats and dogs and birds and squirrels and all these things, come on, you gotta have love for God. I mean, the beautiful greenery, the trees and the grass. How the leaves change color during the seasons and even the glittering of the snow. All these magnificent things. The sun and the moon and the stars. Huh? <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, I think I see another one. Ah, do I see another squirrel? Look at him. Oh, look at him. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's looking at me. Oh, oh. Hippity, hippity, hopping. <laughs> You know, this cemetery also has a lot of magpies, huh? Man, they're amazing. Sometimes they, they fly in formations. They go around in various patterns, and it's just so cool to see. <laughs> Woohoo, man. <clears throat> Lord, Father God, I would like to thank you for this day today. I thank you for the beautiful weather as the snow is melting. Huh? The snow is melting. But we're going to get back into the cold weather and it's going to start snowing again for a little while before spring starts coming. Thank God. So, yeah, Lord, I thank you for this beautiful day. I thank you for the warmth of the sun and for everything that I'm seeing and beholding. Uh, I thank you that I'm in a good mood. I thank you for the marijuana that I smoked because you created it. All right. I give you all the glory, all the thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. If you give thanks for your marijuana and everything, uh, should be okay. Where am I? Let's see. Uh, I'm going to keep going forward a little bit here. So we keep walking. Shout out 
to Dark Werewolf 69. All right, Connor, shout out. Shout out to, um, well, I don't want to say your name, but you know, leader of the Emoticon Army, all right, Adam Davis. Shout out to you. And shout out to uh, Raccoon Shikyo, uh, Joseph. Shout out to you. And I guess to shout out to Ghost Politics from True Capitalist Radio, why not? Shout out to you. I still pray for you. If you ever see these videos, which you probably won't. <laughs> so, I'm walking around over here. This is an interesting tombstone. Now, look at this one. Uh, this one's pretty unique. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. There's a woman over here. She passed away in her 20s. Her name is Nikki Deschamps. I'm going to visit her right now. She's way back here. You know, I was sitting on this bench. I was smoking some weed, and I swear, I was hearing <clears throat> an intelligent spirit channeling me. And I don't know, I think it was trying to pose as her, if it was her, for whatever weird reason if it was, but if it wasn't, then there was a spirit posing as her, and we were having a back and forth conversation for a little bit. I'm not gonna talk about it though, because it's kind of personal, but it was interesting to say the least. Um, in this cemetery, I've seen shadow figures. I've heard disembodied voices. I've been here at midnight. I've been here at three in the morning. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump away from my place. And I would like to work here. Wouldn't that be cool? Huh? I mean, tombstones are like gemstones unto me. The ravens sing my song. And the crow just reminds them of the raven. I would love to work here. It'd be a dream job for me. Look at these tombstones. Ah, uh, galore. Ha. Man, I could walk through the Paris catacombs like it ain't shit, right? I could go to Goatman's Bridge, lay a sleeping bag there, and slumber. Seriously, all right? This is nothing. I find comfort in going into cemeteries at night. And it's just one of those things. Especially when you hate your life. So, the spirit versus the flesh, huh? When I was talking about the nature of sin within us, the nature of Satan, going back to the Garden of Eden and being passed down through our DNA, I tell you, huh, when you smoke marijuana and your tolerance level is low, it elevates the spirit, but it elevates the flesh. And then you have to battle against Satan sometimes. It all depends on how you think. If you let Satan take control of bad thoughts, bad visuals, and you have a bad trip with anxiety, paranoia, and all these things, well, you can overcome that. You know, it's a battle. When the Christian smokes pot, it's a little different than the non-Christian. The non-Christian will have a totally different experience than the born-again Christian. It's true. And, you know, a lot of Christians actually don't like pot. I guess I can understand, but... I came to find that it benefited me more than any prescription I've ever gotten it in my life. And I battled a stage of paranoia and anxiety. I just had to be around people and communicate more. And, I, and you know, I used to be a very shy person. And now, through pop, I mean, hey, I could read the Bible in front of 
60 to 100 people at church while I'm high. And it's not like I really get all too high. Like I said, my tolerance level's up. So, yeah. Anyway. So, about this cemetery. My great-grandmother is buried here. And I'll go to her grave. It's near the middle of the cemetery, so it's a fantastic location. Section 13. I mean, it's pretty much in the middle of the cemetery. This is where I was seeing shadow figures and hearing disembodied voices. But it's over here. Huh? I think I'm gonna bring my laptop here in the spring or in the summer when it gets warmer for night. And then I'll use uh, my cell phone's hotspot to connect it to internet. And then I'm gonna just be here and paranormal investigate at Annie Yamrose's grave. You know? Yeah. You could tell I was here, huh? You could tell I was here. And of course, in the back, you know, Shermata. Shermata. Yeah, that's where I go. Hmm. Well. The tombstones, they have Jesus engraved on it, and with good intentions they have Jesus engraved on it, but even Jesus doesn't want you to make statues of him. It's breaking one of the Ten Commandments, yeah. So, you know, I don't think that all Catholics are tares. I think there are some wheat, and even the Mormons do it wrong with their communion. Because in their sacrament, they have risen bread and they use water. They don't even use wine or red grape juice. It's weird. You need unleavened bread like a wafer and a shot glass of either red wine or grape juice. You know, that's the proper way to do it. If you're going to join a church, don't join a Catholic one. Don't join a Mormon one. Don't join Scientology. Don't join any of these weird ones, but join a Christian one. And there are different Christian denominations. Choose your pick, but if it's Christian, and they do the communion properly with unleavened bread and wine and or grape juice, then do that one. All right? And test their spirits. See if when they do the readings, if they're cutting out any readings, you know, any verses for some weird reason. Some churches do that. And, hmm. See if they're more spiritual or they're more of the traditions of man. Well, here we go again with the nether galano. Yeah, I'm smoking galano. Yeah, I still think this stuff's cool. Huh? I still think it's cool. Oh, yeah. That lemon citrus. I can feel the vitamin C. Yep. Oh. <coughs> 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 oh yeah. It's rather tasty. It's rather tasty. <laughs> yep. Gotta hold it in. Gotta hit the brain. Gotta hit the brain. Oh. All you guys and girls, I don't know what else to say in this video. We're already 24 minutes and 30 some in. I guess I'm gonna end it. Yeah. So that's it. That's my thoughts. When you grow up, you're lied to by the government and school and all that. You gotta snap out of your conditioning and rethink everything. I huh? think for yourself. 
question everything. Yeah. And there's some movies that are truth tellers, like They Live, The Truman Show, The Matrix. Hmm. Um, Inception, whatever. Um, Pleasantville, you know, the devil's putting color into the world. Anyway, I'm out. See you in the next video.